everybody, it's Joe here. My mate Moreland. Morning. Off to chase up some Chinese water deer and munjack. So it's five minutes past seven in the morning. Current temperature is only minus one degree, so not as bad as we thought it might be. Foggy conditions outside, windscreen all frozen up. Um, but yeah, we're about 15 minutes away, away from where we want to be. So we're going to get down there and see what we can see. See you later. So we've arrived. It's now 10 past 8 in the morning. And it's like PC out here. Seen a few deer, no safe shot. Keep going. Oh, so, time now. 8.40, probably time of the shot. 8.38, so Chinese water deer on the ground. Right, so the time now is 9.30ish. Uh, Morland's just shot two, two this year's, last year's, sorry, bucks. So only yearlings, small little fangs, tusks, but yeah, good ones to take out. So that's three in the space of an hour and a half. Good start to the weekend. So that's those three hung up. Crowd looks done. So we're gonna move on now from this spot. There's another spot. Um, over the other side of the farm where there's um, some solar panels and another wood. So we're going to get back to the car, head on down there. It's thick fog out here today guys. I'm still able to see a good 80, 100 metres of the Gemini. So that's happened quite a lot. We saw quite a bunch of them over here. There's been quite a lot of work that's obviously gone on. I don't know what they're doing there. There's some pretty serious fencing going up. <laughs> so we're going to take a little look further up in the wood up here, just around the edges, and see if we can spot them on Jack. Right, so it's now 1.50 in the afternoon. Me and my buddy. We've been for lunch, went to the harvester, very nice. There are other chains of food available. Um, yeah, very good. So it's minus three still this afternoon, still freezing cold. It's still foggy. We've been to Majestic Wines uh, because, of course, you've got to give something back to the permission owners. So we got them a, a box of six different wines. So we're just going to go drop those off and then we're going to pop out again for the afternoon. See so yeah, how we go.
everybody, it's Joe here, Scott Country International. Um, just decided we we're going to pop out this afternoon here and see if we can see some deer. And uh, I'm just going to turn this around. I don't know if you can see. But down there in the corner, literally as we've just arrived, there's a group of maybe 10 or so. So we're going to see if we can sneak down in there, get a go on them. I haven't even had a chance to get changed out of my work clothes yet, just whack a hat on. And uh, yeah, let's go see if we can get lucky. <laughs> Well, sold a carcass this, this week when we collected the money this morning. Yeah. And I've got bought an air gun for 50 quid and sold it for 175. Yeah. And, um, so we just decided to come and stand on the edge of this big bit here. My mate stood up at the top. Let's see what we can see down in this wood. Right, so Sunday, 7am in the morning, one degree, no fog, much better. So we're off back down to the same place as we were yesterday, we've got a couple of plans, a couple of ideas. We need to be out of there by 10, because both of our messages wants us home. <laughs> so we'll see what we can do, catch you later. Thank you. 
good trip that. Absolutely knackered now. Getting those back to the car this morning, those two with the harness was bloody hard work. And it's a hell of a muddy down there as well this morning. It was frozen yesterday, which was not easy to walk on. Today it is just clay, clay, clay. So yeah, not much fun at all. Anyway, all done. Glad to be on the road. Uh, yeah, looking forward to doing a bit of editing. Gotta say, yeah, Gemini's it's a very decent bit of kit. Um, I've been really pleased with them actually. They've done exactly exactly what I expected. Good identification, um, nice clear image. Uh, you'll see from some of the videos that I've put together the layover between the, um, the fusion mode between thermal and, and uh, uh, colour daytime mode is really quite handy. It's quite funny to watch them through the thermal and then the fusion and then watch them disappear when you see them in the day mode. That's quite interesting really. This goes to show that without the thermal and modern technology we really struggle uh, to see some of those deer that we saw. So yep, overall very very pleased. Uh, I did have the part DS 3570 LRF on top of the 22250. I've got a little video of that as well. Uh, shooting a couple of deer this morning, two deer in a row. One at about 10 metres and the other one was stretched out to about 180, 190, something like that, I think. They wouldn't range and wouldn't annoy me. Um, so, yeah, generally, kit very good. Um, I'm very pleased with the weekend. It's been an absolutely cracking one. So, hope you guys have enjoyed watching the videos and uh, see you again.